My name is Commissioner Tracy Tidd, and I greet you as Partners in the Gospel of Jesus Christ. As of June 1, 2013, I have been appointed as the Territorial President of Women's Ministries for the Australia Southern Territory. It is my privilege to work alongside Divisional Directors for Women's Ministries, officers and women across this territory. Allow me to bring you up to date on our 2013 Making It Happen project. To date, we have been able to forward to the International Headquarters $80,000. This represents over half of our total goal. Thank you for your continued work enabling us to meet the commitment of $140,000 over these two years. In recent years, through Making It Happen, we have been able to achieve some great outcomes for women in need across the world. We have assisted with the development of a children's center in Mexico to provide young children with somewhere safe to be so that they do not become prey of people traffickers. And we have helped women living in the Congo to create income generating opportunities so that they can have a sense of independence and financial security. There are women all over the world living lives of disadvantage and distress. Making it happen is about giving us a way of offering women the support they need to build happy and healthy lives where they have the opportunity to provide for themselves and for their families. We are so fortunate to be in a position where we can help women transform their lives and address their disadvantage. I am so pleased to introduce to you the 2013-2014 Making It Happen project. In Mumbai, India, there are more than 9,000 young women and girls working as prostitutes in a small five kilometer radius that is the red light district of Mumbai. It is a situation they are powerless to change. Many of the young women have children who are neglected and left alone. While the mothers work, these children experience poor nutrition, have no education and are left for hours to fend for themselves in a dangerous situation. Our focus for the next two years is the Aruna Children's Shelter in Mumbai. Together, we can work to provide children living in Mumbai with a safe shelter, three meals a day, education and life skills development and regular medical checkups and support. Children living in Mumbai are at significant risk. The Aruna Children's Shelter project has a specific focus on girl children of women in prostitution as they are most at risk in a red light district of Mumbai. As part of providing support to children so that they do not grow up in the sex industry, it is important that we assist their mothers to move away from their work as prostitutes. Through skills training, mothers will be able to find alternative work, which will mean that along with their children, they can move away from the sordid red light district of Mumbai. The support offered through the Aruna Children's Shelter is comprehensive and includes regular counseling for mothers and children, home visits, regular health care and health education, recreation activities for children, meetings and Bible study for mothers and children, life skill education and celebration of occasions such as birthdays, Easter, Christmas and New Year. This project is really about offering children support so that they have a brighter future, but also provided them with protection and security so that they have the freedom to be children. Our aim is to raise $140,000 over the next two years to assist with the funding of the Aruna Children's Shelter. By meeting this target, we will directly assist 100 women and 50 children. Through making it happen, we have the chance to change the lives of women and children affected by the horrible situation that currently exists in Mumbai. I encourage you to support the Aruna Children's Centre project through making it happen. Together, we have the opportunity to share the love of God with these women and children to help set them free from all bondages of risk and abuse. Mm -hmm.